Hey everybody, welcome back to another First Impressions video. This one is for this month's, or one of this month's, uh, PlayStation Plus games, of course from the PlayStation Plus service that PlayStation provides. Um, it is called This War of Mine. Um, I have played the first 5, 10, maybe 15 minutes of this. I wanted to try it out um, last weekend and I, I chose to do so. Uh, now, just to let you guys know, in terms of first impressions videos, there is two for the PlayStation 4, there is two for the PlayStation Vita, there is two for the PlayStation 3. All six of them are usually available on the PlayStation 4, but I am going to just do the PlayStation 4 ones, unless there's a particularly big game, or a particular game that I'm interested in from the other selections, which this month there isn't. Um, so it's just going to be the play the two from the PlayStation 4, which is this, and I think it's called Letter Quest uh, Remastered, that's the other one for the PlayStation 4, and then of course uh, the four uh, games with gold games for Xbox, for the Xbox One, um, so yeah, without further ado, it's the, this is the second one for the month, because I already did uh, The Cave, which was on Xbox 360, um, but before we get started, uh, I just want to remind you guys that you can head over to entertainmenttalk.org to find all the latest content from Entertainment Talk. Uh, you can follow us on Twitter at eTalkUK for various different things for when things get posted because it's connected through the Twitter on the WordPress. Um, for updates from myself, from tweets from myself, or to see just whatever we post on social media. Uh, you can email us at entertainmenttalk@hotmail.com. So entertainmenttalk@hotmail.com is the email for your inquiries and feedback. And lastly, if you'd like to support us, you can choose to do so. Uh, if you go head over to patreon.com forward slash entertainment talk, you can support us for as as little as a dollar a month or more if you choose to do so. And there's also various different rewards uh, that you can redeem that I will check out once you redeem them. But without further ado, let's uh, let's continue actually, because I did start this like I said. Um, so it should be interesting to find out. Um, it, you can do another try, write my own story. That's the thing I haven't I haven't checked out. Um, I just want to double check that my mic is on for a split second. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's just click on continue. The menus kind of flow kind of nicely here. It's there's no like I haven't noticed any frame rate dips or anything with this either. Uh, but let's jump jump back in. So today I'm going um, to record my first impressions for this and for Let Letter Quest uh, Remastered. I believe that's what the game's called. So I'm on day three, nothing's really happened yet. Uh, just been kind of getting used to what the game is, what it's about. Um, <coughs> excuse me. We've been raided, yeah, so this is where I finished uh, my playthrough at the moment. Someone came at night to take our things by force. Not very really nice, but of course you can expect that. And then it's not a zombie apocalypse, it's like an apocalyptic situation. Um, He's got a deep wound. I wonder if either of these people can die. Maybe that will cause you to have to start again. Um, so yeah, first thing I wanted to talk about is with these stairs. Now, if you want to go down these stairs, you have to push down. You can't push up to even walk um, down the stairs. Then you push up to walk back up to wait for him to go past. Uh, so yeah, it's up or down, and you have to be at the particular end of the stairs. This is an interesting game, um, it's, how can I put this, it's very much, if you took State of Decay, took the zombies out, kept the raiders in, which I don't remember too many raiders specifically in State of Decay, but if you took some raiders in that you don't, I think you do come across some people, because there's ways that you can, uh, you have combat as well, which I haven't come across, we may come across in, in this first impression. Um, let's just see what's in here. Look, pick. Okay. Um, yeah, it's very much that. 
with no, there's no influence system. Oh, someone's at the door. Okay. Guess I'll have to hold my thought for a second. Uh, sure. Why not? What do you want? I don't think I have enough stuff. Uh, oh, he's wounded. So we need that. Um, a carrot? I feel like I'm going to have to give him so much stuff though. He's saying very common about everything. Give him that. Um, what's that? Some electronic parts. Alright, take that away. Man, this is this is when the exchanging or the survival becomes tough, I'm I'm guessing. I don't want to spend too long doing this either because I don't want to talk about this game. What's that? All essentials components. We can chop it. Sure. It's very generous. So you have to go off based off of what they're saying then. It's very generous of you, so I'm giving him too much stuff. Alright. It won't do try height, what does that mean? I'll settle it there. You can start the, the game again as well. Um, at least he didn't attack us. Can we like kill him? I don't want to. But <laughs> uh, right, so yeah, as I was saying, this is like State of Decay. But yeah, it's like State of Decay. If you take the influence system out, because the influence system in State of Decay is essentially points for taking things out with you, like guns and uh, like the stamina stuff that you need, the health stuff that you need, supplies. Basically, this game doesn't have that. Uh, this is also a 2D version, um, because of course this game is 2D. It's without the like whole kind of driving. It's not. It's basically like a 2D version of State of Decay without zombies, with raiders that I haven't encountered yet, so I don't know how to face them, and with uh, I don't know about the difference in the characters because. In this, you've got them, and they have their bios and all that sort of stuff. In State of Decay, they have like little stories and stuff like that, and you have conversations in the cars and all that sort of thing. Um, and you kind of have like, how can I put it? State of Decay is more of a shooty kind of survival and this is more of a like manage your resources and get through the day kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I won't show too much in this house because it's basically just about like building stuff to just to genuinely survive. Um, I think the game ends on the day 30 or day 50 I heard. 
uh, I'm guessing that if um, your characters in this are not state decay in this I'm guessing if in this they don't survive until that point then you failed the game then you have to start again um, I don't know if this game has like an ending cutscene for like a story or anything it'd be interesting to see that uh, but yeah I'm gonna go and show you guys what it's like to, to scavenge somewhere so you walk over here how what is it you, oh you press end day which is circle at the top the controls are a little like I turn him around like that, and he walks quite, kind of far that way. I don't. It's going to be interesting to see how that kind of thing plays out when I'm uh, fighting against the radar. Like if I'm coming up here, yeah, and he's let's say I want to run out the house, and he's like chasing me that way. Am I going to come here and then like awkwardly stop there and get attacked and then then go down? It'd be interesting to see. But let's end the day and yeah you go to the night and then that's when you scavenge um, let's have a look here I don't want to take everything see this is part of the kind of resources management thing um, I'm just gonna take like a carrot and clean one like clean water and see where that gets. This isn't really me attempting to progress with the game. It's just me giving my my general thoughts uh, over a course of 20 minutes or so. Yeah, and the house can also burn down. Uh, so there's two scavengers at the top. Um, how does... Okay. The game didn't give me any indication of how to fight. Apart from at the start where it says press RT, but I mean, I mean R2, but that didn't seem to do a whole lot there. Uh, he was killed while looking for supplies. Right. So this game can kind of turn pretty quickly. You can just die like that. It's certainly a challenge. Um, it's yeah, it's certainly a challenge. But and this is a game I haven't chosen to continue with, per, like for, for personal video game time, I guess you could say, because it's just not something I'm up for playing or up for doing. Um, a state of Decay is the much more fun and kind of zombie version of this. Um, so that's what I've discovered so far with this game. Um, and I don't know how much more I have to say on it. I mean, you get the idea, like you kind of... You, you go out, you look for supplies, you come back, you make stuff, you try and just make the character survive day by day. Uh, my question is though, isn't it easier, rather than going through the whole day, although I guess, I, I was going to say, if you don't go f through the whole day, see, I'm trying to talk about this game, and people just keep coming to the door. See, like, what the hell? Can you help me board up my windows? I live nearby with my daughter. I've heard rumors of looters, looters, sorry, pillaging houses and raping women. That's not very nice at all. 
I can lock the doors, but they could get inside through the windows. Can you help me board them up? My husband was taken by the rebels in the first year of the war and hasn't returned yet. We're all alone. Please help us. I'm going to say, I'm, I'm, I imagine give me a sec is like she's going to wait there. So I'm going to say give me a sec. Um... <clears throat> So yeah, I just want to say one, a couple of final things on this game. Is that, isn't, isn't it easier to just maybe end the day? Or is it easier to go through the whole day, manage your supplies properly, make sure people survive, and then end the day and then get some, um, get some, uh, what's it called? Like, get some supplies at night? Um... So yeah, it's just not a game I'm personally up playing unless I run out of things to play. Like, it's not a bad game, it seems like a decent enough game, but it's just not something I'm personally up for playing. Uh, if you're up for playing games like these, then I definitely recommend it, uh, which is another part of these videos, is whether, I, whether or not I recommend... Um, I'm just going to move away so that her dialogue doesn't keep distracting me. Um... Again, this isn't me playing the game properly as if I was playing it, playing it. Uh, but yeah, if you're up for just like seeing if you can get these people through the 30 or 50 days and that's a personal challenge to you, then sure, go ahead and, and get the game. Uh, of course, the point of picking the PlayStation Plus and Xbox Live uh, games or gold games is because they only cost you... Uh, they cost you less money because they're technically free, but you of course have to pay for your subscription. Um, right, so just wrapping up here, if you want to play this game then, and it's the kind of game you want to play, then go ahead and play it. If not, then I don't recommend you try it. Uh, but yeah, that's about all I have to say for, these, for this video. So thanks everybody for watching. Uh, if you'd like to check out everything on the website, it's entertainmenttalk.org. Our Twitter is at etalkuk. And for any inquiries or feedback, it's uh, entertainmenttalk.hotmart.com. And remember that you can support us over at patreon.com forward slash entertainmenttalk. Thanks for watching, and I shall see you on the next piece of content. Goodbye.